Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. Well, today's Sunday, still no flying. It's cold and windy, and it's supposed to get colder this coming weekend, uh, Christmas weekend. So, no flying for me for the next week or so. So, hopefully, uh, some of you guys are getting a chance to. So, this is my fourth E Flight Extra 300 3D. I got this one for pennies on the dollar. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment. And then, uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying. I guess you can say about 65% off. It's a sealed box, and in the picture of the ad where I bought it, it said, you know, factory sealed, never sold, never opened, warehouse damage. And that was it, one picture of the box. So I bought it and took a chance. Less than less than 200. It, uh, it appears to have some damage. Oh, right in this area going all the way across the box and then back here to this corner so it's like something long has either drove over it or landed on it we don't know so being that this is my go-to plane if half of the plane is in good shape then I feel like I got my money's worth you know if the servos are good if the motors good if the receivers good you know this one has the AR 631 smart receiver if that's good, uh, you know, the landing gear, the propeller, there, there's a lot of good parts in there. If the plane is not good by itself, and at least half of it is good, then I feel like I, uh, I got a good deal. So, because I'm always needing parts. I said four of these. I bought one, you know, a long time ago. I literally flew the wheels off of it, and I've restored that one, and I'm just going to leave it on the shelf now. And then I bought a second one that was in pieces, very similar to this and got a handful of parts out of it and then I bought a third one that was new and that's the one that I'm flying right now but it's probably on its 1,000th flight you know or even more and it's starting to get get weak and get tired so it's time to get some get some parts you know I'm always going through propellers or you know uh, wheels I probably change the wheels two or three times a year you know that the rubber or the foam rubber whatever you want to call it it just wears down to nearly nothing especially the tail wheel it'll wear down to the plastic rim pretty quick and you got to replace those quite often so anyways parts are good to have so i say let's uh let's bust this thing open and see uh see what we got here just uh just never know let me reposition all right a few of the comments, you guys commented on, um, one person said that it was nice that I took my dog to visit my mom. That's my mom's dog. And he is a, uh, she calls it a service dog, but I, I say it's more of a therapy dog. But anyways, he's got the vest and all that. And, and she she really relies on him. And that, that dog helps her walk and he, he's got he's got patience and so that, that's her dog that I'm watching that I just can't wait to get rid of or I mean I get back to her and I have another one of her dogs here also with my dog so three is a crowd but on weekends you're allowed to take uh, pets to visit uh, your loved ones at the uh, at the skilled nursing facility so I do that every every Saturday go spend a couple hours with her I let her pet her dog, and then I spend a couple hours fixing her phone, all, all her all her goof ups, and downloading stuff she doesn't need. And that's why I brought up the uh, the thing about fraud because you know I'm just seeing all the all the stuff that sh she's clicking on that she shouldn't have, and you know, and then she says somebody from Amazon's trying to call her, and you know. Nobody from Amazon will ever call you. Re remember that, guys. 
they will never, ever, ever, ever call you. All right, what do we got here? Oh, doesn't look all that great. Looks like we got some squishage. We got some squishage right in this area. Mmm. No good. Maybe the trees guys are still in the picture here. Tell you what, the tape has got some yellowing on it like no other. wing here on top is not good. Yep, yeah, the, the indentation right here and here is right in line where that box was crinkled and, and here's the here's the wing. It's been got drove over by a forklift or something. The servo's cockeyed, the the horn's off but the screws in the servo there. Interesting. Now this this uh this aileron has has the hinges. My third 300 doesn't have any hinges. There's a there's definitely some damage here. Hmm. And the other wing's got it. Not really straight. This one's not as bad on this side. Oh, it's got a got a break right here of some sort. Yeah, the wings are definitely uh, definitely rough. Probably can be probably can be repaired, or at least uh, servos might be good. Here's the rudder. I'd say the rudder's in like perfect shape. Yep, rudder, rudder's good. And the prop. Now the prop was pretty close to where the squishage was. But I would say that's in good shape. So the prop survived. And the manual. Is good. Yep, Brian Phillips wouldn't get pissed about this because uh, it has a place to slide down in. You can't fold it. Cone spinner seems to be seems to be good. And the fuselage. I'd almost say this thing's good. So far it is. Mmm, I, I see a right here. And that and it lays in the in the package like this. And there's the squish part. So it got it a little bit. I'll have to see, looking through the vent holes here, if like it damaged all the way through it, or is it just exterior? If that's all it is, I can definitely do something to make that uh, make that pliable or, or no problems. 
inside the battery bay is pristine. The motor feels good. Magnets feel fantastic. <laughs> Yep, AR631. Look at that. Now, I've never seen one of these. What do they call them? A glitch buster or something? I've never seen one come with one of these planes new. Plugged into channel 6 is this little gizmo, and you guys are saying it's a such and such, and whatever that thing is. I've never seen it plugged in. I think they're called glitch busters or something like that. But I would say that the fuselage is in 90% good. And let's see what else we got in the package here. And the wing joiner tube seems to be seems to be perfect. The landing gear, I mean there was no damage in this corner of the box, so the landing gear is, is good. And uh, got the, the nut and bolt sack it's right there. And the elevators it's got hinges. That, that other, th other 300 I got didn't have any hinges. It looks like there might be a crack right here. I can't tell if it's paint or. Maybe where the plastic it comes together in the, uh, in the mold or whatever. I'd say that's good. So, the back of the fuselage and both wings, oh, I forgot, forgot to put the nose cone back on. The rudder's good. I'm happy. I, I feel like it's a, uh, it, it was worth the money. So these wings, we'll have to do a, we'll do a project together, figuring something out with them. Here, let me show you guys a little bit better. All right, show you this. This is the worst out of the two here. And I just noticed that servos kind of push down on a on an angle. Yeah, it got smushed. You can see this crease going right across it. That nailed that. And I, yeah, with me pushing on it like that, I can I can feel it bending back and forth. It's de definitely broke all the way through. And then this guy, that's definitely definitely damaged. Both wings. pretty rough. However, I still have the wings from my number three. Here's the one that that I rehabbed and, and uh, let me show you the pilot. Quite quite proud of this guy. Yeah, my little pilot is, is cool. I just took a knife and chopped his head off, and a little bit of a uh, a little bit of foam and some hot glue. I stuck a servo up in his uh, shoulders, and then mounted his head to a servo and ran the wire down to the receiver. And I got it on a Y harness going to the rudder, 
So when I move the rudder, his head will move. That's something cool. Just a uh, little, little touch I added to it. So, anyways, I don't feel bad with that deal. If the fuselage survived, the landing gear, the propeller, the elevator halves, the rudder, you know, and obviously if the electronics made it, well worth, well worth my money. We might do something with the wings. What? Maybe we'll get some kind of a light we can shine through the foam or something and see if we can see what kind of damage is really done. If it's just bent or if it's snapped or it'll be something for us to do here on the channel trying to fix it or just uh, or is it a lost cause you know so we'll figure all that out so anyways I feel like uh, feel like that's okay. People are asking where I got it from and if, if I tell you guys then then nobody's gonna get a good deal anymore. Nah, just kidding. eBay. I spend a lot of time on eBay and you come across those deals uh, quite often if you're if you're looking around for them so that's that's where I got it eBay all right guys hey that's all I got for this one we got uh, we got a lot of a lot of video content ideas out of that plane so we got we got lots to do and I uh, hope everybody has a good week and I'll try to squeeze in a couple of videos between now and uh, maybe next weekend and if I don't see you guys, you know, Merry Christmas. So, all right, guys, hey, thank you. Subscribe if you haven't. That's the best way to support what I do. And then uh, right here, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. And I got it. And until next time, you'll see me here. All right, adios.